our tomato plants are out of control. We got to get these up potted. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And today we have got to work on some of our seedlings. And as you can see, our tomato plants are getting a little bit out of control. They're getting pretty, uh, pretty tall, pretty big. Um, and we just have them in these little itty bitty pots and they're, and they're struggling a little bit. So we need to kind of get these in some bigger pots, get them a little more roots to breathe and we're gonna kind of spread them out up here and lower down a shelf so we can get those guys going in the right place again. So today, the, the material that we're working with, these are little half gallon pots. If I can get one out, but anyways, they're, they're half gallon. I can't get one separated, but half gallon. And um, we're using miracle Grow Potty Mix. This one has some moisture control in it, which just seems to be really good for us. Uh, it just kind of helps out if they just get a little bit overwatered or underwatered or whatever the case may be. This may help that out, especially as we're getting into bigger pots. It's usually a pretty good idea. So just like we've done with the other potting soil, what we're going to do is we're going to get this mixed in, make sure it has plenty of water, moisture in it. And then uh, we'll start talking through as we work through going through the plants. All right, so we're getting the soil mixed up, getting it wetted, wetted. Uh, make sure there's water in it. And, is, and if, if you kind of just kind of look at this soil, you see it's super chunky. It has some wood particles in it, and there's just different stuff in it. A lot chunkier than what our normal potting soil was when we used for our seedlings. This is okay for now, because we're not really needing them for seedlings. We need them for big plants. And this stuff will just kind of help out. It works really, really good for this. But, you know, once we take all this stuff, the plant's going to be around that anyways when we repot it. So all this good stuff that they've had so far, it's going to continue with them. We just need a little bit of extra filler, and this is going to be good soil for that. All right, so we're going to up pot these, like I was saying, in a half gallon pot. So we got the, the soil mixture we got. We got it. We got some water in it, some moisture in it. It was pretty dry. So I like to fill it up about right there. So about a quarter of the way maybe. It's about to right there. Especially when it thinks about this size of a plant, right? I may actually go a little bit less than that to make a hole. So the great thing about tomatoes is with these, you see all these little, little hairs. All of those can potentially be roots. So the best thing about a tomato is I can plant this thing super deep in the ground. So I'm gonna to try to put as much of this in here as I can. Um, and even when we plant it outside, we can plant them pretty deep and all those little hairs turn into roots, which just helps out the plants even more. So I have a little bit of a divot here in the middle with some soil around it. And then I'm just gonna tip this plant over Kind of give it a little, there you go. You see all those little roots everywhere? There's a little sticker for that. And I'm just gonna put it in there like that. And then that's why I'm just gonna backfill it with this stuff. And then once we get all of them done, we'll come back in and, and water again, just to make sure everything has a real nice soaking in water and there you go even though I know it looks a little weird it looks a little bit odd right there but it will once we kind of get it going here and get it watered in and in the next couple days it'll look great so another thing with with these tomato plants 
is these couple bottom leaves, especially these two. I'm just gonna pinch those off. And you can even come over here and pinch these off, just be gentle. And when you do that, number one, it lets the plants take all the nutrients to the roots and whatever leaves and stems are still left. It just helps distribute the energy of the plant and where it goes to. And we wanna focus it on roots and plant structure at this point. And then later on in this growth cycle, then it will try to go for bloom and fruit and all those other things. But for now, it's all about getting a good root ball and having a healthy plant. All right, as you can see here, we are getting everything watered in. We had to kind of move around some of these, uh, some of these racks, kind of give them a little more distance. We didn't, since we've kind of increased the, the pot size on these, we didn't have enough room for all of them just to be on one, uh, on one rack. So we had to kind of split them from up here and then down here. Right now, the peppers are pretty small still. So, and these are kind of, short compared to the rest of them. So we kind of put those together. These are all the zinnias right here. Those things are going really good. We kind of repotted some that we that we had a couple that didn't germinate. The majority of everything germinated. I think we had maybe three or four pots that didn't germinate. So really at this point, we're just gonna water these in and bring you guys along uh, probably middle of this week or maybe at the end of the week, just to kind of see how these tomatoes have grown. And I guarantee you they're probably gonna be up into the, the lights again. And then we'll just have to figure out how, what we're gonna do after that. So like I was saying, we're gonna bring you guys along to, to see the next stage of these, whatever that may be, the middle of the next, middle of this week or the end of next week. Um, so make sure you stay along. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you ring that bell so you get notified every time uh, a, uh, a video comes out. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell, both of those. And, um, you know, from our homestead to yours, you have a blessed day, and we'll catch you in the next video.